Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing something I've been wanting to do for a while and I recently saw Caitlin Costello do it and um, I was like, oh, you beat me to it. But I'm gonna be swatching all of my favorite shades and my least favorite shades from all of my eyeshadow palettes. I know a few other creators have done this in the past. I will try to link them in my description as well so you can have a look at their videos. But I just thought it would be interesting for me to see which ones I like the best. And also, I guess, just give you an opinion if you don't have some of these palettes that I'm going to be talking about. Yeah, I'm going to be talking about all of my palettes. So it's going to be uh, a long video. So if you don't like those types of videos, then obviously you can click away. But let's start here. Um, the, I just have some random piles here. But let's start with the wine and only um, from Colourpop. I really enjoy this palette. I think it is a beautiful, sultry colour story. I really, really love it. Um, and I want to say, and this is going to be boring, I think my favourite shade is Muller Over. I've been trying to pan this and it's not going very far. But I definitely feel like this is my favourite shade in the palette. It's just a beautiful, neutral, not neutral, it's a beautiful matte, rich, uh, burgundy colour. And um, I like to blend it out. You could, if you blend it out, it gets a lot more pinkish. Or you could leave it as it is. Um, and yeah, I really do enjoy it. I think that my least favourite would have to be Grateful over here. It, it has got the um, little uh, glitter particles and it's just, I don't know, it's it's a little bit dark. So this would be my least favorite, but still very pretty. It's a really decent matte and yeah, I mean, I can't really go wrong with this palette. I, I like all of them. I mean, this one could have even been my least favorite, but I have used that quite a bit. Um, but yeah, I like this palette and yeah, those are my favorite and least favorite from that palette then we'll get on to we'll just go down the pile uh the book of magic from beauty bay i love this palette um unfortunately yes it is discontinued has been discontinued for a while it was just limited edition they really shouldn't do their best palettes as limited edition palettes because it's not fair for everyone and i think they could make a lot of money if they didn't do that but anyway um, I want to say that my, and, and just by, just so you know, I haven't actually decided which are my favorites and least favorites prior to filming this, which I should have done, but I just didn't. It's kind of impromptu and I had some time and I thought, okay, let me do it. Um, so yeah, I think my favorite shade, ah, oh, if I'm going to be honest with you, I think it has to be this crystal shade. I know that's a little bit like, of course it is because it's kind of like the special shade in the palette, but I really do like these brown to green shades. And this has like a shift of purple too. I mean, it's, I don't know if it picks up on camera, but it has a lot of shifts to it. It is really beautiful and I really enjoy it. Yeah, like some lights, it looks green, um, it's just not looking green for you right now. It's looking more like purple and icy, but um, yeah, actually if I change the direction of the camera, it looks green, which is interesting. Um, but yeah, I do like that shade. I think uh, my least favorite is going to be Jinx. I'm just not a fan of this. It's dark and yeah, it's, you know, it's, I know why it's there, but you know, it's dark shimmer and I don't really like dark shimmers. So that would be my least favorite of this palette. Okay, next up I've got the Chilling in Chicago from BH Cosmetics. I really like this palette. And I am going to say, let's see, um, my favorite shade is probably this one. No, maybe this one. Mm, mm, maybe it's Millennium. I just love this palette. Oh gosh. Okay. It's going to be one of these, right? So I think my favorite shade is this one, Jazzy. I think this one's fun. I just think this is really beautiful. I mean, the quality is always stunning with BH Cosmetics, but I don't know, all, any of these could have been my favorite. <laughs> That's the problem with this palette. I really do like it. Um, the problem is it has a lot of good tones for me. I think my least favorite is going to be this river walk. I just don't usually pick up um, a mustardy yellow shade and this is kind of a darker mustardy yellow as well. So that one is like a Dijon and 
I would say that's my least favorite of this palette. Okay, Hood of Beauty, the Desert Dust palette. Um, you know what? I'm going to say it again. I love this palette. So I love all of these, sh these shades. Uh, but I think, hold on, this is just not level. It's bothering me. Okay, I think my favorite shade is either Cashmere or Retrograde. Um, I really like Nefertiti as well and Twilight. This is a hard one again. Gosh, what is wrong with me? I cannot pick. I think I'm going to go with Retrograde because it is sort of um, an interesting shade. It doesn't look like anything interesting there, but it kind of is really interesting when I put it on my lids. It looks very boring there, actually. Not really coming off well, but I would say that's my favorite shade when it looks good. Right now, it's not looking good. I did not do a good swatch. And my least favorite shade is going to be the Cosmo, which is the glitter. Because look at that. Hideous. Hideous. I haven't done this palette justice at all. Why is this one not going very well? Oh, I tell you what, it looks stunning on the lids, but it just does not look stunning right there. But anyway, um, I love this palette, so I don't care. All right, just my luck. Okay, from ColourPop. So my two favorite, I have two favorites. I feel like Mary Jane and all of you are very, very similar to each other, even though it looks like they're not. I find them ultra similar, but I am working on all of you and I have kind of fallen in love with it. So I need to pick this one. I just think it, it's got a beautiful, beautiful grungy green look to it and really enjoy that. Um, I would say my least favorite is going to be uh, Momamba. I think it's just dark. Yeah, I just don't like it because it's dark and I don't think it's anything special. Um, that type of green shade is not special. I have quite a few of them in my collection and yeah, don't care for it. So Okay, next up I've got the Whatever, for, whatever from Colourpop. Um, this one's going to be tricky because I haven't used every shade. But I think my favourite shade is boringly enough tardy which is this super shock i think it is very beautiful and um it does give a beautiful sort of icy glossy look to the lids and i'm going to say that my least favorite ooh, is probably one of these two which are just boring shades i don't feel like you need this is more cool tone than that one so i'm going to go for the copycat i just think why do you have this um yeah, just not interested in that shade. So that's that one. Okay, and then I've got a Yasmin palette from Miley Beauty. So this one I really love. So I feel that these two are definitely by far my favorite. Hopefully you can see that. Am I in shot? Yes, I'm in shot, right? Barely. Oh my gosh. Look at me. I'm trying to do my video and I'm not even in shot. There we go. Okay, so these two are definitely my favorite. I think my alley is my absolute favorite though, which is obviously it's from my alley beauty. So I would expect it to be beautiful. I just think it's absolutely stunning that shade. And I think my least favorite is gotta be flamingo. I just think it's not necessary. It's like this peachy pink. Um, and yeah, I never reach for it. So I would say that is my least favorite. So this is Juvia's Place, the bronze palette. So uh, we'll come to no surprise, this is my favorite shade. I'm trying to pan it. I just think it is so vibrant and beautiful and I love it. So yeah, gosh, those two together, delicious. Uh, my least favorite is gonna have to be this one, which I don't even think I've used, which is an, again, another sort of mustardy um, color there, so orangey mustard color yeah not a fan of that one and I never reach for it next up I've got the Urban Decay Stoned Wise palette um so this one I believe that um I mean originally this one this one and this one were my three favorites um however I have been working on Opal Aura recently and I hit pan in it and I kind of fell in love with it. I also think Tiger's Eye is beautiful. Jade's beautiful. Like th this one, Ojo is beautiful. Bloodstone is really interesting. So it's kind of a hard one for me to pick. Um, I think I'm going to pick Opal Aura because I had so much fun working on it. 
and it was a joy to use and if something is a joy to use then you kind of know you like it but yeah it's it's got blue but then it's got purple and pink it is just absolutely stunning so really enjoy that i think my least favorite is gonna have to be i guess antidote i don't know it's i just don't really care for this shade and i you know i barely go for the mattes anyway when i go into here i just go for the the um the shimmers but yeah it's just kind of a nothing shade so don't really care for that one okay moving on to nomad cartagena magica palette so this is what it looks like and you can see me so i'm going to do that because i do not want you to see me the whole reason i'm filming this video is because i do not want to be seen so yeah you can look at the tripod okay cool all right um <laughs> so let's see um well you can see a little bit of me hello all right so i think my favorite shade is this one which is ls in mundo i hit pan in this after six uses i really really love this shade i think it's stunning uh my son did his finger or his nail into that one so that one's messed up um but i think my least favorite shade is probably this one i would say which again is just sort of like a peachy orangey matte i keep picking these same colors for my least favorite i just don't really pull for them so yeah that one is that and then the Tokyo from Nomad. Oh, I can't bend these. Okay, there you go. Um, this one, I think my favorite shade is going to have to be... I think the one that I... Well, I go, always go for this one, Moshi Moshi or Otaku. So it's one of those two. I think it's the Moshi Moshi. I think this is interesting because it's obviously a green, but it has a beautiful shift of pink to it. That I really enjoy so it's like an icy pink and I really love that so I would say that's my favorite of that palette and then my least favorite is gonna have to be the black just well it's not even a black it's just a, a dark gray but yeah that's definitely my least favorite of that palette okay let's do these two so we've got the original Urban Decay Naked palette uh, my favorite shade is most likely sin <laughs> and uh yeah can you tell i've hit pan on it um i would say yeah this is my favorite shade but i do like a couple of shades in here and my least favorite is gonna have to be creep which is the black i just don't like this black at all yeah so that one was nice and easy uh the jackie i know from abh so this one I love this palette. Um, this one, I would have to say Sponsored is my favorite, as uninteresting and um, common as that is. I think most people like Sponsored. I just love it. I love that brown with the flash of green. I don't know. I just like those shades. I, I, I find them interesting. Um, I think my least favorite is Supreme. It's either Su Supreme or Pinker, but I'm going to go for Supreme. I just never go for it. I never go for any of uh, sort of the, the pinks or purples. Yeah, I would say that's definitely my least favorite. All right, moving on. We have the new Anastasia. This is the Nouveau palette. I've only used this once so far, which is a travesty because it is so beautiful. Um, I'm going to say that I really, really enjoyed this shade, the Isle. I think it was very, very beautiful. And I'll swatch it here, which is probably going to be the worst swatch. But, yeah, that's a terrible swatch. But I really like that shade. And then the my least favorite, I'm going to say, would have to be, it's going to have to be Muse, I think. It's really dark. And I don't care for that. So, yeah, I would say those two. Okay, moving on, we've got On The Rocks from W7. Um, I like this palette for what it is. It is very cheap dupe palette for the um, Anastasia um, subculture. So I am going to say that my favorite shade is either Champagne Toast or um, Martini Olive. I'm gonna go for Champagne Toast. Um, it, just, it doesn't look like anything. And obviously the shimmer impact is not very good on this palette, but I don't know what you would expect from W7, to be honest. Um, I think my least favorite is Bellini. I think I used this once. And 
yeah, I didn't care for it. Again, another sort of mustardy orange. I guess we're trying to, we're kind of realizing I don't really like mustardy oranges very much. Um, okay, next up I've got the Revolution. This is the Chilled Palette. And this one I really enjoy. Um, I would say that my favorite shade, like in terms of just using it all, all the time, would be Calm over here. I don't think I've ever really spoken about but I do like it. it's like an icy yellow I really do like that it's got some white to it as well and my least favorite is this bud it is a glitter and it's a horrible glitter it is so vile so if you are interested in getting this palette just know there's three glitters and they're all bad so yeah <laughs> okay moving on to the Club Nebula uh, from Kaleidos this one um I think that my favorite shade has got to be You're My Only Hope. I think realistically that's probably my favorite shade. Um, I just pull for it a lot. It's a beautiful lilac shimmer. And my least favorite is probably <laughs> going to be some mousse here, which again is an orange. Look at that. Orange salmon color, which is clearly not my favorite. Okay, moving on to the Artemis palette. So this is a dupe for the Metropolis palette from um, Natasha Denona. I would say that my favorite shade is gonna be Silent, Prowl, or Thrill, or Scent. Probably Scent is a shimmer, let's be real. I like shimmers over mattes, so that's kind of what that one looks like, which I don't know if you can see, but it has some green and orange to it. Um, yeah, to be honest, that's not my favorite. I'm going to, I'm going to get rid of that. Sorry. I've changed my mind. Um, I think actually my favorite is Quest over here. I've just realized I like this one. Um, sorry about that. I just remembered. I really like this. It's like, um, a bronzy greenish color. And I think it's really beautiful and I like the quality. So definitely don't like scent. Um, I mean, I like it, but it's not my favorite. My least favorite is going to be either Ambush or Bow. Or, um, or is it Bow? I'm not really sure. Let's just go for Ambush. They're both, yeah, this one's a dud. Don't care for that one at all. So that is going to be my least favorite of the palette. Um, the Nubian by Juvius. This is the mini. To be honest, I've never even put this on my eyes, so it's going to be hard for me to say what my favorite is, but I always swatch this one, so I think this one is interesting, so I would say that's my favorite, and just by looking at it, this would be my least favorite, and yeah, it's one of those oranges, so that is that. Then I've got uh, the Neon Palette from Primark, don't think this has a color, um, a name, it's just one of the orange ones. And there's not too many shades in here that I do like. Let's think about this. I think that my favorite shade is probably this one because it's kind of interesting. But it's very flaky. But I do think that is a beautiful shade. Kind of a neon color in the right light. And my least favorite is probably this one if I can get anything let's see there yeah so I definitely don't like oranges I don't like orange peachy mattes all right moving on we've got baby got peach from Colourpop this one um is going to be hard for me because I've only used it once and I had not used every single shade I think I'm going to say this is my favorite ready or yacht I think it's a really beautiful shimmer yeah it's a peachy shimmer and my least favorite is probably this one ochre <laughs> oh, let's just put all the oranges together shall we yeah there we go all right miss bliss i love this palette i love it love it love it it's my favorite color pop palette that i own and you cannot argue with me that any of the others are better because I think this is the best one. So my favorite shade used to be Optimist, but I think it's Chakra to me now. I just think it's a really, really interesting shade. And I just realized that this year. So 
obviously it's a pink but under the, the right light it has a little bit of yellow to it it's really beautiful don't know if it's going to come up on camera like that but i think it's stunning so that is my favorite i think my least favorite has to be whoa i'm just i never go for it and it's like a nothing shade it sort of blends into nothing so yeah but really love this palette it's getting old okay the aha uh -huh honey from ColourPop as well uh this one i think my favorite has to be sunburst which is this beautiful yellow shade and my least favorite is going to be i don't think it's the sh the uh, the glitter i think it's oh behave I just don't really care for this color. It's like a pukey, mustardy yellow. Again, those oranges and yellows, I just don't like those tones. Okay, moving on to So Sue. This is the The Allure palette. We say that stupidly. My favorite is Gemstone. I think it's absolutely stunning. Look at that. Beautiful. One swatch. Gorgeous. Um, I think my least favorite is definitely going to be this one. It is a really, really dry formula. Terrible. It is so bad. Look at that. I'm trying to get pigment. I can't get any more pigment than that. And look how dark it is on the eyeshadow palette and look how light it is on my hand. It's a terrible, terrible shade. Okay, next up is Sunset Beach from Primark. I think this is a dupe for a Tarte palette or it's supposed to be. Um, couldn't tell you which one. Maybe the tartlet, maybe not like the full size, but I think it, it's, it takes inspiration from the tartlet. Um, but anyway, my favorite shade is either this one or this one. Um, I think it's this one, but I might be wrong. Yeah, I think it's this one. This is pretty nice formula for Primark. I think it's a beautiful shade, that. And my least favorite is this one. I, I just think the, the, um, the formula is not very nice. It's a decent shade, but I, I don't care for the formula. I don't think it's as nice. Okay, moving on, we've got the Orange You Glad from ColourPop. And I would say that my favorite shade has got to be, squeeze me. Beautiful, right? stunning my least favorite is you pill me i really hate this shade every time i use the shade i hate my look afterwards so definitely a sign that is not a shade that you like all right let's move on to these smaller ones i've got a little cella here this is the hello beautiful la vie neutral eyeshadow palette and i would say my favorite shade has got to be this one just because i think it has a nicer quality than the other shimmer but this palette is not that great, but I think it's it's okay. It's just, this is 25 pounds. Can you imagine 25 pounds for this? Uh, my least favorite would have to be the dark one. It's okay, but you know what? There's only four shades, so I have to pick something. So yeah. Okay, moving on to the Sophia and Maybelle. Actually, I think this is the one at 25 pounds. Maybe the cello one isn't 25 pounds. So this one, um, my favorite shade has to be Probably this one, although it's really powdery. But yeah, I would say that's my favorite shade in the palette, which is not really telling you much. My least favorite is this dark one. Big surprise there. Although the formula is okay on that one, but yeah, not a huge fan of this. It's kind of interesting, right? Like the shimmers are really stunning. And then I've chosen like almost all mattes at the bottom there. Okay, we, let's do this. All right, so we've got the e.l.f. Bite Size. This is the Berry Bad. My favorite shade has got to be this one. I think it's beautiful. And my least favorite would be this one, surprisingly. I don't know. To be honest, they're all right. I like all four shades. Okay, moving on, we've got a MAC. This is the Star Sighting Compact in Fuchsia. This is a holiday limited edition one that came out a few years ago um my favorite shade is this one which is a beautiful inner corner i don't know if it's going to swatch nicely but it's a beautiful inner corner and my least favorite is this one actually because i don't really like 
dark shimmers like this. The black is actually a pretty decent black, so that's why I didn't pick that one. Okay, moving on to another Juvia's Place. This is the Blushed Rose. So my favorite shade is this one. Yeah, this is interesting, this one. This is a beautiful orange. It's got a tiny little bit hint of kind of pinkish glow to it. Um, and my least favorite, I think, is this one, which is kind of just a mid-tone pink and I'm just I'm not interested in that okay next I've got the Flutterby by Colourpop and this one it's gonna be hard because I don't really yeah actually I like this one this is the Sun Flare some of these I haven't used in a while so I have to sort of kind of remember what I've done and what I've enjoyed and I think my least favorite is going to be Float On which is over here it's one of these dark mattes with glitters in it. Well, not glitters, but like shimmer particles. All right, next pile. Oops. All right, so we've got the Verdandi. This is um, from Odin's Eye. It's the mini eyeshadow palette. And this is pretty new to me, um, but I have used it. And I would say my favorite shade is going to be one of these. I think it's the blue shade. I think of this is really beautiful. Yeah. Oh, I should wipe my hand to do this because this is a really beautiful shade and that was a terrible swatch. Oh well. And then my least favorite is this one, Pre Precious. I was going to say Precocious, but it's Precious. Um, you know, it's just a really dark brown. It's not that interesting, although the formula is really nice. All right, moving on, we've got the Alva 2 Mini Asha Palette from Odin's Eye. Um, this is going to be hard because I haven't tried these middle ones here. Um, so I can only go on what I've actually tried and I would say that my favorite shade is this blue one, this aqua. I think it's a really beautiful pastel blue, like a sky blue. Um, and my least favorite would have to be golden sand down here. Although that swatches really beautifully. I don't know, I'm just not into the, like those really deep goldeny browns. Okay, moving on, we've got the lilac you a lot from Colourpop and this is what it looks like um my favorite shade has got to be train wreck i think i like all three of these but it might be yeah it might be this one train wreck just a beautiful lilac beautiful lilac shade and then my least favorite is probably ghosting Which still is pretty, but you know, I have to pick a least favorite. All right, moving on, we've got the Main Squeeze by Colourpop. I have not used this in a really, really long time, so this is going to be hard for me. Um, I think I like this one though, the Maricino. Yeah, it's got a little bit of like orange to it, and it's kind of interesting. Yeah, I like that one. And then I think my least favorite is going to be Red Bottoms, although I really like that uh, name. I like Red Bottoms' name, but yeah, boring that. Okay, moving on to It's My Pleasure from Colourpop. So this one, I think, do, 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 it's going to be either Mrs. Sandman, Oshine, or Do, or Do, or Do. Um, or Bare Minimum is really nice. And I really like Pretty Cruel as well. I like this palette. If you hadn't already guessed, oh gosh, you can see me. Have you been able to see me this whole time? I look a mess. Anyway, whatever. Um, so my favourite shade is gonna be I think Urshine. I think I go for this all the time. Um, yeah, I think that's a beautiful shade. Probably not the best swatch, but I think it's a beautiful shade. And then fan fiction I would say is my least favorite in this palette because it's like a mid-tone pink, purple, and just not very interesting. Okay, moving on, I've got the Donna Beauty Sand Haze. This is like a dupe. Um, very, very cheap brand this. And um, I think, I haven't even put this on my eyes, it's going to be really hard for me to judge this. But um, I have swatched it a little bit, and I think, yeah, this one was a really beautiful shade. Which, if I can get a good swatch of it, you'll be able to see. I don't know, is that a good swatch? Probably not. Um, and then my favorite, I mean my least favorite is going to be what, this middle one? A nothing shade again yeah 
Sorry if the lighting has gone all bad. It is getting a little bit darker here, so I'm trying to get through this as fast as I can. So I want to do it in actual natural light because I feel like when I do a ring light, sometimes it washes everything out. Okay, let's see. Huda Beauty Macri Retrograde. My favorite shade is going to be this one, Gold Glitch. It's easy when I know the palette really well, right? When I don't know the palette really well, I'm humming and ahhing, but this one I really love. And then my least favorite shade, which I thought was going to be my favorite, was actually Frazzled. I don't care for this shade. Um, I thought I was going to love this shade. It's just a little bit stiffer in formula. Um, but yeah, love this palette though. Okay, the Naughty Nude from Huda Beauty. Uh, this is going to be hard because I haven't used it too much, although it looks like I've really used that shade a lot. But there's some shades here I haven't even touched. So I would say that my favorite shade is uh i think it's please me yeah this is beautiful this is like a really beautiful bronzy tone shade actually you know what let me put some light on is that better i don't even feel like that light did anything anyway uh my least favorite shade is going to be untamed i think it's just too dark this whole palette is just a little bit too dark beautiful formula but um gotta pick something so all right next stack we've got the blue moon from colourpop a lot of colourpop i do apologize i have quite a lot of their nine pans um like the original nine pans so my favorite is going to have to be i think moonlight is actually my favorite for sure in this palette i don't know what it is but i always reach for moonlight so i would say that is my favorite blue and my least favorite is Fine China because it always goes patchy on me. I can't use this without it looking patchy on my lids, which is a shame. Moving on to the Mint to Be from Colourpop. Um, so this one, I would say that Freshman is a really beautiful shade. So that would be probably my favorite shade. And my least favorite shade is this one sells so I'm just trying to read them because it's kind of hard for me to read it there yeah I don't know if those swatches look great but yeah nice little color story going on there all right moving on we have another neon from Primark this is the green one and my least favorite shade oh no my favorite shade is going to be this one they don't have names but definitely I think this one is my favorite shade Again, I don't know if that's swatching all right, but, and then my least favorite shade, I think is this one up here. It's like a lime green, kind of interesting though, but very powdery. All right, so we've got the She Glam Virtuous Virgo. I really want to pick up some other other star side ones. I think they're really, I mean, this is really nice quality. Aside from the fact that it does come with the glitter, I think it's really nice quality. And I really um, enjoy the color story. I think that my favorite shade is Modest, which is this one right here. It's not like a blinding shimmer at all, but I think, I just like the color. I think the color is really interesting. Um, my least favorite is probably this one, which is Humble. Are we humble as Virgos? I don't know. Still nice quality though for a dark, usually dark shades like this don't have the best quality. In my opinion, that's quite nice quality. Um, but it is a satin, so that's why it went on better. Um, okay, the Essence Out in the Wild. This is the green one. Um, I would say my favorite shade is probably this one. Yeah. So it's like a really nice bronzy brown. And then my least favorite is going to be this one here. Another green, but this one is a matte, so the quality isn't as good. All right, Avocado Toast from BH Cosmetics. Um, my favorite shade has got to be, it's got to be the avocado. Avocado, it's so cute, the avocado. I just think the name is so cute. Oh, they're actually expensive is really beautiful as well. Like, I'll just watch, look at that. Look at it expensive. Isn't that beautiful? If the avocado wasn't in there, I think this one would be my favorite. Anyway, my least favorite is probably Holy Moly, just a dark matte. I just don't like these darks. Look at those. I just don't like dark greens. 
Okay, next up we've got the Canyon from Alter Ego. Love this palette. My favorite is Desert Moon. Straight away, I know. You just know you like a palette when you know what your favorite shade is, I think. <laughs> All these other ones I'm struggling with, I'm like, mm, I don't know, I don't know. But yeah, definitely love that color. Um, and then I think my least favorite, mm, this is hard uh because i really love this palette and i haven't not liked anything i've done with it but i'll probably say that my least favorite is earth over here yeah this is one of these mustardy this is like a dark mustardy orange shade that i don't really care for all right that was space for one more on my hand we'll do the blueberry muffin from bh cosmetics and this is a hard one for me because i haven't used it all that much but I think my favorite shade is Yummy. I think this is really beautiful. Beautiful, like purple. And then my least favorite, um, hmm, probably Baker's Dough. It's this black. Yeah, don't care for that. All right, we still got more to go. So we've got the Novena from ABH. Um, this one I really love. My favorite shade is Rose Gold. I just think it's really stunning. I mean, just look at that. That is just so stunning. I love that shade. It is just beautiful. And my least favorite shade is Love. Don't care for this one at all. It's a beautiful pink, but I just never use it. All right, then we've got the Corda Rosa from Sigma. Um, this one, I would say my favorite shade is Shakespeare, which is probably a shock to everybody, but yeah, I think this is definitely a favorite shade of mine. And then my least favorite is probably the Corda Rosa shade. I just don't think there's any pigment to this. I think it's such a letdown. It's just a, like a nothing shade and it's called the Corda Rosa. You'd think Corda Rosa would be the best shade. All right, then we've got a Bella Pierre Cosmetics, this is the Brown Eyed Girl. This is a really cute little mini quad. Um, I want to say either that one or that one is my favorite. I don't really remember. I'll go with the lighter one. Yeah, I think the quality is, is decent, but I think it's pretty. And then um, I kind of like the glitter, so I'm going to go with this matte as my least favorite it's just not super pigmented you have to build it up um yeah it's a little dry all right moving on we got the wild child from ColourPop. uh still not my last color pop i'm sorry I'm, i still have more to go <laughs> my favorite shade in here um i believe is going to have to be this one which is fierce i think yeah it's just the one i go to all, all the time because it's the lighter one I still don't particularly like it oh gosh there I am hello don't see me um anyway so uh yeah you're looking at me um after a long day of work anyway never mind all right uh my least favorite is gonna be icon I don't like icon very much it's just a dark 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 brown all right then we got the pixie this is the heart defensor um double tap and I can't I can never open this this is like the hardest thing to open, I don't know why, it has a little, it's so difficult to open, okay, anyway, here it is, there you go, I'm here now, panic over, my favourite shade is this one, it's like a, one of these, like, it's like almost similar to that one, just a bit lighter, and my least favourite is going to have to be this one, probably, I just don't care about it, um, yeah, like a peachy orange it's way peachier than i expected actually but yeah all right then we've got the elf retro paradise i like this palette a lot and my favorite shade is going to be perezzo over here i just think it is very very interesting especially for elf i just think it's really beautiful like has a lot of different colors and very stunning uh, my least favorite is going to be, ooh, it, I think it is sea salt or, or it's caliente because they have a decent black. Oh no, it's royal. Never mind. Duh. It's this one. Yeah, I don't think this is a very nice shade. 
Okay, and then I have some singles here. Um, just thought I would discuss these. So these ones are all from Makeup Obsessions, the Makeup Revolution sort of sister brands uh, from the... Oh gosh, I don't even remember what the palette was called. But anyway, it was from one of those palettes. Um, Sunset Beach or something like that, I think. Um, and I depotted some of those shades. And then I've got the Electric Mood palette from e.l.f. over here. And then this one is um, something I saved from a Primark palette. And then I've got a highlighter here. So um, I'm just going to say like my favourite shade in the whole sort of single palette area here because that will make it easier and I think I don't know any of these shades off by heart but I think my favorite is going to be this one which is one of the elf ones and it is one of those kind of special shades that they have they had this in the electric mood and I thought it was really pretty and my least favorite out of this bunch is probably this one so very interesting choices I just did they're very similar to each other all right we're moving on to the last stack right here so we've got summer in Saint Tropez from BH Cosmetics okay so my favorite shade is coastline over here I think it's really beautiful and it is one of these shifty shades I just really really enjoy it I love how green it looks but it has sort of the reddish undertone at some point but I can't really show it on camera. <laughs> um, my least favourite is going to have to be the blue one over here. Not a fan. Not a fan. Alright, then we've got the Sweet Talk from Colourpop. I would say that my favourite shade is definitely ooh, this one over here, which is called, what is that called? Garden Date. Yeah, this is really pretty. I like that shade a lot. And my least favourite is probably this one, I-C-Y-M-I. -I. I'm not smart enough to know what that means, but anyway. And then I've got California Love from Colourpop as well. I love this palette. I think it's so stunning. It's so beautiful. My favourite shade is this one, Diego. I think it's really, really beautiful. Just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And my least favourite has got to be... I think it's Sequoia here, yeah, I just remember I only probably used that once when I was using this palette because I just never gravitated towards it, but yeah, I love the, all of this, these are so beautiful up here, these can just go away. <laughs> Alright, then we've got the Shadow Kiss from Alter Ego, so I think my favourite shade, this is a, di a difficult one for me, not because I don't like this palette, I love this palette. Um, I like so many shades in this palette, so that's why it's really, really hard for me. Um, but I think it's, I think it has to be mist. I don't know, it's just, I think they're all beautiful, all these shimmers. Um, and I think my least favourite is probably Umbra, just because it's dark, but I love this palette, so I like all of them. Alright, then we've got a NARS palette. This is the NARS Afterglow. And, hmm, I think, I haven't used this in so long. It's hard for me to know what my favourite shade is. Probably this one. Yeah, I would definitely gravitate towards that one. And my least favourite is this one here. It also got hard pants. Probably not easy for me to pick up, but. It's just these mid-tone pinks that I don't care for. All right, then we've got Natasha Denona Retro Palette. It's hard because I really like Psychedelic and Glitz, but I also like Helio and Jude. And I really like Vivian because it's really easy. And I like Rebellion as well. Um, I think Helio though is kind of, yeah, I think this is my favorite. I don't know, I just think it, yeah, I think that one was my favourite. And I would say that my least favourite is probably Amara here. It's just more of that like mid-tone colour. And I just don't gravitate towards that when I'm looking at this palette for some reason. So that's the only reason why I picked that one. And we've got the Alva Eyeshadow Palette from Odin's Eye. My favourite is Lilac here. 
think it's just a pretty glittery lilac shade. And my least favorite um, is probably Jasmine because I remember using this and hardly anything came out. Like it was hard, it had to build this up quite a lot. Yeah, it's like a nothing shade that unfortunately. All right, three more. So we got the Rose Quartz from Primark and this one looks like this. I think this is the dupe for something a while ago. Um, really love this palette. It is old though now. Um, I would say that my favorite shade in the palette is probably this one. I just like these really, I like these inner corner icy ones. Oh no, I have nowhere to swatch. Oh well, I'll just swatch it there. Right, I just wiped off my hand because you couldn't see that. But anyway, that's what that looks like. And my least favorite is going to be this one. Or it could be that one. Again, just these mid-tone peachy pinks. I'm just not a fan. All right, so I've got some Pastel Rose singles here. These are really brand new to me, so it's kind of hard for me to know which is my favorite, but I'm still going to tell you anyway. Um, I think just from memory when I did swatch them, this one was beautiful. Yeah, look at that. I mean, they're all really beautiful. Or was it this one? Oh yeah, this one's really creamy. This is beautiful too. No, I'll go with this one. This one's interesting at least, right? Like, look at that. That's interesting color. Oh my gosh, that's so vibrant. <laughs> it's getting so dark here. I'm sorry. Um, I think my least favorite was the white one just because it didn't really have... Oh gosh, it's all breaking up. It didn't really have any oomph to it. But it's still really beautiful. Really beautiful. I need to use these. Yeah, I don't have anything like that that green look at that it's got like a beautiful flip to it stunning all right and then the last palette is the equalizer volume 2 from sample beauty i just tried this the other day um not on camera just on my own and it i just was blown away by the quality i this this palette is always on sale on beauty bay and i think it was like 50 percent off just a week ago um i think i got it on like 30 percent off so Damn, had I waited, I could have got it even cheaper, but it's always on sale. And when something is always on sale, I have an opinion that there's probably something wrong with it. Um, but I've always wanted it because of the color story. But there's nothing wrong with this. It is absolutely stunning. Mind you, I only kind of concentrated up here and then um, this, this mat over here. Uh, so I didn't dive into the bottom half of the palette. But these shades are so, so creamy and beautiful and delicious. I was blown away. It's like, it's like Beauty Bay quality, to be honest, um, at least the shimmers. And I just thought, wow, these are stunning. Um, so it's kind of hard for me to judge. I'm going to go with this one. This is sweet. I think this is really beautiful. And it's like a topper shade, but I... I, it has the green you can see it I think on camera right you can see that it's beautiful but then there's also this one which I tried which is brunch I mean look at that I think that's really stunning I'm just gonna swatch it up there I don't know I think for how cheap it was and the fact it's always on sale I thought there was something wrong with it there's nothing wrong with it and the mats are really nice too so um it's, it's gonna be hard for me to say <laughs> what my least favorite is yeah okay I'll, I'll i'll do my least favorite i think my least favorite i think i tried a bunch of these i'll say this is my least favorite that i tried but it's still a beautiful shade so yeah can't complain god that one is like blinding <laughs> um but anyway yeah those are all of the eyeshadow palettes that i own and I have swatched now my least favorite to my favorite shade in each of them. Um, this video was probably a little of a mess. Hopefully the lighting didn't get too bad. It's gotten pretty dark. I thought I had a couple of hours of decent lighting, but it's pretty cloudy and the sun is setting away from my window. So I don't have too much light left but um yeah thank you so much for watching like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video i thought i would do this video instead of a palette declutter because i looked at my palettes and i started doing a palette declutter video and then i realized after about the sixth palette 
that it was just going to be a collection video. I wasn't going to get rid of anything. So <laughs> I thought, hang on, let me just swatch my favorite and least favorite and just do it that way. Um, because yeah, I, I'm, I'm at the point now where I'm happy with what I have and I don't feel the need to get rid of any of my eyeshadow palettes. So anyway, thank you so much for watching and I hope you're all doing well and I will see you in the next video. Bye.